If you're a blog author, you know just how much work goes into creating awesome content on a regular basis. And frankly, if you're not utilizing AI tools now, you're really doing yourself a disservice. What I wanna to do today is showcase a couple different AI tools you can utilize when you're writing your blog posts. Essentially, I'm gonna take ChatGBT and Divi AI, showcase them both, and kind of put them head to head so you can see how they both work, and show off different ways that you can use them through the entire blog writing process. So let's jump right into it. One fantastic way that you can utilize ChatGPT or any AI writing software is to help you with a blog outline. Now this is an optional step, but having a great outline can really help you plan out your blog. It's super easy to do. Using ChatGPT, we can just tell it to create a blog post outline, and I'm gonna tell it to make a blog post outline of using different coffee roasts because I like coffee. So we'll just go ahead and go through it. And as you can see, ChatGPT gave us a good outline so it can kind of help our creative process or our creative juices start flowing. Again, totally optional, but a good outline is sometimes a great first step. So I'm in my WordPress dashboard and we're gonna create a new blog post. And first I'll walk you through using something like ChatGPT and then we'll compare it to using something like Divi AI. I'm gonna start off just by using the title that we were able to get from ChatGPT and we're gonna just start making our blog post. I'm gonna build this from scratch and now we can get to work. So first of all, a good blog article needs a good introductory paragraph and we can use ChatGPT to kind of help form that for us. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna input what I want ChatGPT to do. So I'm gonna tell it to create an introductory paragraph using the outline above. So since I do wanna just use the outline we already made, I'm gonna use that above. This is another good reason for using an outline for your blog, because you can just use this right in ChatGPT. I'm gonna tell it to keep it under 300 words and briefly touch on the other points that are in the outline and give it a human tone of voice. So we're gonna generate that and see what it says. So now that you have an introductory paragraph generated by ChatGPT, there's a couple things you can do with it. What I recommend and the more ethical way to do this is to take this and use it merely as a guide. Now you can just take this entire thing that it generated, copy it and paste it right into your blog article. If you do that though, please make sure to change some of it around so that's not just generated completely by AI. But I find the best way to use this is by having ChatGPT as more of a guide and not the actual creator of your content. So I'm gonna jump back into our blog article that's in Divi. You can use any kind of page builder within WordPress that you're more comfortable with. I'm gonna use Divi today for both of them so that we can showcase the differences between Divi AI. I'm gonna add a new row here and I'm just gonna make a simple text module and then I'm gonna paste in my content from ChatGPT. And then from here, I'll change it up a bit so it's not just pure ChatGPT. So so you can see, I took the prompt from ChatGPT, I changed some stuff around, and merely use it as a guide for our writing. So now that we have our introductory paragraph done, let's go ahead and add some images to this post. Creating images is something that AI can do fantastically as well, but unfortunately, ChatGPT itself doesn't have any functionality for creating images. So we're gonna have to use a different tool for that. There's a lot of them that you can try out. A couple of really popular ones that are super great are gonna be Mid Journey and Adobe Firefly. I've done full videos on both of them, so if you wanna check them out, I'll leave links down in the video description for you. They walk through the process and how they work, and both are fantastic tools. But since I was using Firefly earlier today for something, let's go ahead and just use Firefly. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just generate an image with Adobe Firefly. Similar to ChatGPT, we're just gonna use the text to image and type in exactly what we want. So I'm gonna have it make a cup of coffee sitting on the ledge of a window with soft morning light coming through. I'll click generate and it's gonna make this for us. So it only took about uh, five to 10 seconds and it made a few images for us. If we wanted, there's a whole bunch of ways we could customize this, make the image how we want as well. But again, I've gone through that in depth on another video. So I'm just gonna use this picture here and we're gonna put it into our blog. So I'm gonna save this paragraph that we have. I'm gonna add another row. We'll just add a full row here and I'm gonna add an image and I'll simply import the image that we have from Firefly. We'll upload this image and it's gonna put it into our blog for us. From here, now that we have our introductory paragraph on our image, we just need some body content. So let's jump into ChatGPT real quick. And for this, we can generate it pretty similarly to how we did the introductory paragraph. And what I'm gonna do is say, based on the outline above, we're gonna create the post content minus the conclusion. We're gonna make it no longer than 1500 words. And we're gonna use the same tone of voice in the introductory paragraph. This is important so that it'll mimic the writing style that we have already. And we're gonna generate this. So now that ChatGPT has finished up, it gave us a good outline for what we can make are writing about. So we have the coffee roasting process, light roast, it gave us a little bit about that, medium roast, dark roast as well. So from here, similar to the introductory paragraph, we can take this information and plug it right into our blog post. So I jump back into my blog post and I paste it in directly from ChatGPT right into here. So this is where we really need to talk about plagiarism concerns for sure. Since ChatGPT is gonna be pulling the information directly from the internet, it's really important to never just copy and paste exactly what it gives you and try and call it your own. Also, just as importantly, a lot of times AI generated content is going to lack personality and creativity, and it's not gonna ever be able to mimic your exact tone of voice. AI writing tools like ChatGPT and others generally work work best for you when you're using them to kind of overcome writer's block 
or just to help you get your creative juices flowing. They're great inspiration tools, but you shouldn't ever let them do all the writing for you. But you can see that a lot of these AI tools can do some of the heavy lifting for you in the writing process. In just a couple of minutes, we have a really good start to an excellent blog article, and you can see just how good ChatGPT can work. That's kind of like being a secondary writer to help you out. Now that I've shown you how you can use ChatGPT for your blog posts, let's jump into another blog post, and this time we're gonna use Divi AI and see how it works compared to ChatGPT. So I'm gonna jump into here and add a new blog blog post. We're going to do that same way. It's going to be using the same steps as we did before. So for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the outline we already made in ChatGPT, but we're going to use it in Divi AI to see the differences. So it'll be a similar topic. We'll make the exploring the complexities of coffee roasts and let's jump into our Divi Builder. So just like before, I'm going to add a new row. I'm going to add a text module and here's where it's going to start differing right away from ChatGPT. So one of the big advantages that Divi AI has is we can generate content right inside of our visual builder without ever having to leave our page. We can do this for a couple of different ways. We can click generate with AI up here or we can write with AI right over here by clicking the AI button. From here, you choose which content type you want to do. So you can do a paragraph, title, button, blog post, etc. You tell it what you want to write about. And then another very powerful thing Divi AI can do is it can pull context from your page in order to write the post. So we can either take some of the page content, a section content, module content, or no context at all when we're generating copy with Divi AI. If you click this guide me button, there's a lot of other options we have as well. You can change the tone of voice. If there's any must use words that you want it to have, you can add those in here. If you know the content length that you want it to be, you can specify your content length here and the language that you want the post to be as well. So I let it generate a first introductory paragraph for us. And here's what it gave us. Now, I don't wanna keep mimicking what I said earlier, so the same rules apply when it comes to writing your own content, not just using AI plagiarism and all that. So you already know all those things. We're gonna put that in, and similar to our other blog post, let's add an image. So here's another awesome thing that Divi AI can do, is it's able to generate images right inside our visual builder as well. So let's add an image. And from here, if we go over to the image tools here, we can click the AI button, and then we can just generate with AI. This works very similar to other AI photo tools that are out there. So we're gonna choose an image style, tell it what we want, you you can specify the aspect ratio and size. I'm gonna make a similar image to the first one we used. So we're gonna have a cup of coffee sitting on a window ledge as well. And let's generate this image. So it's gonna create us a few different images right here within our visual builder. And just like using Mid Journey or Firefly, if you like what we have, you can use one of these. You can generate more like one if there is one that you particularly like. So if I like this one, but I wanted more options, I could hit generate more like this. We can modify it as well. We can change our prompt here, refine the image, but for simplistic sake, I'm just gonna use this image here and it's gonna insert it right into our blog post. So you can see it put it in for us right here. And just like with creating text, we didn't have to leave the visual builder at all. We can do it all without having to tab to a different website, which is really, really awesome. I know sometimes jumping between different pieces of software and websites can really hinder your creativity. So it's nice to be able to do it all within your visual builder. Now from here, just like our first blog post, we're gonna generate the rest of our content. So we're gonna add a new row. I'm gonna add a text module and then we're gonna write with AI. So from here, we have a couple of ways we can go about doing Doing this. You can write this paragraph by paragraph if you wanted to. Another thing you can do is if you are using an outline like we started with, you can paste that outline right in here. So we'll use the exact same one we already created since we've made it. I'm going to paste the entire outline in here. The important thing on this though is to omit the introductory paragraph since we already have that. Then we'll go down to guide me and we'll change some things here. We'll make the tone of voice informative. If we had any must use keywords, we'd put them in here and we'll generate the content. So just for the sake of this test, we're going to just use the text that it gave us. And now you can see it automatically puts it into our page for us. You can see just how easy Divi AI was for us to use and how quickly it's able to just generate us a good framework for our blog post and what it looks like right now. As I said at the start, if you're not using AI tools to at least help you with your blog writing, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. Both of the different methods I use today are super quick and easy, and which one works for you best is really gonna depend on what you're using. If you're already using Divi, Divi AI is super easy to use. If you're not using something like Divi and you're using a different platform or website builder, ChatGPT is platform agnostic, so you can use it with however you're building your website, which makes it really awesome. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you like the video and subscribe to our channel. Also let me know in the comments what your favorite AI tools are for writing and I'll see you in the next video.